Fontaine just released within Genshin Impact, and I decided to celebrate the occasion by making one of the worst decisions of my career. Back in Sumeru, I still have so many things left uncompleted, and I didn't want to repeat that mistake. So, I attempted to complete absolutely everything introduced in the new update. This meant finishing the entirety of the new Archon quest, completing all side quests, and reaching 100% exploration in all three new areas, among other things. So, over the course of mainly three days, I spent a total of just under 24 hours diving into everything Fontaine had to offer, and here's how it went. And there it is. That, that's it. That's the new region. I have avoided spoilers of every kind as much as humanly possible. In fact, I just remembered that there should be a new Hydro Traveler, but I literally have no idea what they do, and I kind of want to save testing that for swords only. But here's the thing. I wanted to just explore the region without any limitations first, so I'm placing limitations on myself. You see, we haven't hung out with Raiden Shogun in a while, so I thought we would just go through Fontaine with only Raiden Shogun. I mean, it's the Hydro region, so there really shouldn't be too much that is just immune to electricity. Oh... Oh yeah, Hydroculus, huh? I guess these do in fact exist now. I haven't even finished getting the Dendroculus yet. But, but it was fine. We're, we don't care about Dendroculus. That's in Sumer. That, that's all the way back there. Oh, oh, is that Furfro? Wait, you... Sir. Sir, this is a crime? You named your dog Baguette? Here we go, our first look, and... Well, that's not much of a first look. That's a very small portion of a map. Oh swimming tutorial. I couldn't think of anything I'd love to have in the game more than another stamina bar. Wait, Aquabus? Can you get... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what does an Aquabus do? <gasps> we get to... Oh, that... I like that. That is... That is kind of fun. You get to take the boat towards, I'm assuming, the main city? All right, come on, Raiden. We gotta go. Oh. Oh, we're going. Yes. Okay. There it is. This just reminds me of like a Disney ride. Okay, I like this, but I feel like I'm going to be missing stuff. Wait, can I knock it off? Oh, I can't. Wait, oh, no, no, I'm coming back. No, Ooh. Uh, but, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Your only passenger is left and you're still talking in my ear. How can I still hear you? Please subscribe to the Steam Bird. No, how about you subscribe to this channel? I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Look, I'm sorry I jumped off your boat, but I saw this thing up here. And there's also a domain that I might be able to unlock. And I really don't like progressing forward until I finish stuff within a certain area. Especially because this is New Region, and I'm going to try to go through and do everything as I find it. Otherwise, we're going to have another Sumeru situation where nothing is complete. Yoink. And we can indeed get to the domain already. What? the heck is this thing? Y you good? You... Oh, I can actually hit you. Sorry about that. Should I be killing them? Because we might need their drops eventually. Assuming they drop something, which I now need to find out. Don't you worry. It'll be over shortly. You won't feel a thing except most of these attacks. And we do get a crystal. I feel like someone's gonna need these. Now, what? do we have here? I thought this was one of the Hydroculus, but it is definitely not. Is that pronounced like Oisia? Or is it Weezia? We I, I have no idea. Oh, wait, it's in the water. Oh. Oh, I can dive? You can... I thought there was only certain areas you could swim underwater. You could swim underwater anywhere? These guys are cute too. Why are so many of the creatures in this region cute? It's like they want to make me feel bad for killing them. But guess what? I still don't. Oh, I like this place. It's like a little rural town with robot people. Tanky robot people. Wait, the Sealies go into mailboxes now? That's, uh, that, that's, that's something. Oh, what did I do? A uh, puzzle? This is a puzzle. That's a canvas. What? is going on. Oh, of course, it's Salsa. I didn't recognize her without her twin brother, Taco. Apparently, I am rearranging the puzzle to make it symmetrical because that'll look better. That was a quest? <laughs> okay. Oh, <gasps> big grab. Oh, I need to fight you. You need to die, my little friend. Okay, well, I thought it was going to be a little tougher than that. Oh, so now even just while swimming, you have the other stamina bar. So you can kind of swim almost double the distance. Unless this is a special area, which it very well could be. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's so bright. Can I attack while I'm here? How do I fight things? Absorb the abilities of big words? Like this guy? Huh? 
Did I just... Oh, my HP. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come to shore. That seems like a good idea. At least I can fight you here. Wait, I just learned you can swim at this speed infinitely underwater. It's only when you use, like, the fast swim that it actually uses stamina. Oh, it lets you swim so much faster underwater than above. I don't want to get too used to that because you go back to other regions and then you're not gonna have it again. Now, what's with the giant vacuum cleaner over here? Can I, like, glide up into it? No. Do I have to attack it? No. <laughs> oh, wait a second. One of these things is hiding in a bush. I have to somehow attack this with a normal or charged attack oh it actually worked i didn't think Raiden was gonna have enough range for that okay so i was able to figure it out are you guys proud of me i actually solved it on my own i would like to report that i think i have gotten slightly sidetracked just just a little bit why are there so many sealies here what the heck is going on this is gonna be a big chest okay big chest oh lots of chests oh yeah also this screen i like this screen this thing Thing looks sick. I think I may have already found my least favorite puzzle in all of Fontaine. Like, what am I doing wrong? It, just nothing happens. I've read the instructions like four times. It, 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 there's nothing. But you know what? At least we know what our least favorite is now. Okay, just a little bit more exploring, and then I will go back and ride the boat into wherever it wants to bring me. I just hated the fact that it felt like I was passing so many things I wanted to look at. I mean, I guess the point is you see them and then you come back later and explore. Explore, but when have I ever done things the proper way? Oh, well, it, lo it looks like if I took the boat, this would be a very easy Hydroculus to get. Oh, this is pretty. So instead of going and taking the boat, I'm going to just uh, do it this way because that works. Oh, <gasps> the baby boars are here too. Oh, they're so cute. Do I get to take the... Oh, I get to take the... I was going to say boat. This is, is really a flying boat, I guess. Can I just take control of it and use it to explore the region? Who needs to walk anymore? Just take the... Wait, I don't want to go this way. No, wait, wait. I want I want to go this way. Sorry. <laughs> Once again, I'm just jumping off of the moving vehicles. I'll do it in a second. Okay, I'll go back to it in a second. This just seems like one of those spots that they would shove a Hydroculus, so I need to make sure that there is or isn't one up here. Oh, I, I mean, there is one. I don't know how the heck I'm going to get to that. Oh, it is pretty up here. Okay, here's my guess. The boat will bring me up to it eventually. What? Uh-huh. This is not what I expected from the boat. I'm not gonna lie. And then we do it again. Oh, no. Oh, it's back already. Okay, this one was way easier. Oh, no. Salsa's gonna be here, isn't she? I don't even know who you are. I mean, I know you're, you're Salsa, but like, wh why do I care? Also, I know there are lots of new characters coming up. I mean, here's one right now, but um, a C1 Yelan would be very nice for us. So we're just gonna do one ten pull and get it because I'm that not lucky. New? Yes. Okay, good. I, I I will take that. That's the only four star I don't have at C6 from this banner. So I'm really hoping that's the only four star we do get. Except for this Yelan on the next one. Uh oof. Yikes. Okay, last temple. Uh Yelan C1. No. Okay. But still good though. Oh, oh, I did one more single pull. And it's going to be Yelan C1. Let's go, baby. And then we got this girl at C1 as well. There we go. C1 Yelan. Now I don't have to care as much about energy recharge, which is the main reason why I wanted that. And you know what? I guess we might as well just do this. Boom. C2. Wait, what is this? Oh, there's an event that actually just wants you to explore like I've been doing. That is, I like that. I like that a lot. Reward me for what I was already doing. Oh, apparently she's on my team too. I forgot about that. I wouldn't mind using her, but because we have the swords only account, I'm not going to use her here and we will just save her for that account instead. They really like to hide these things. Like, this is all the way over here and I need it for something. Wait for it. All the way over there. Right, and I hope you got your tetanus shot because this does not look like a good place to be climbing. Is there anything of interest down here? Oh, a waypoint. And, oh, it's, what the heck? Surely there's gotta be a Hydroculus down here somewhere. Oh, wait, it literally just popped up on the map. It is, it is right there. But being that I would have to climb back up, I will get that later. Yo, where the heck did you fish this thing up? I think we've been fishing in the wrong places this whole time. Oh, <gasps> they actually have diving outfits? Oh, that's funny. Well, joke's on you guys. I don't even need a diving outfit. I can just dive. Oh, what is 
that way. Oh, I want to know, but I'm not done here yet. I really, I, I gotta be honest, I want to swim underwater with Kokomi because that just feels right. But I also want to do this with only Raiden because I, I don't know, I just felt like doing it with only Raiden. And another Hydroculus as well. Where are you bringing me? Oh, it just keeps going. Oh, oh, I get it. I get, I get what I didn't get before. When they have this little symbol next to them, I think that is when you can, you could do this and then you get the e skill and then you can spawn bubbles on them of of course ow okay okay this thing hurts bro underwater combat is so weird i guess this thing is technically a mini boss you turn invisible oh you can't even hit it when it's invisible oh gosh this is just, I, I this is just weird i don't know what else to say it's kind of cool but at the same time i wish i could do more damage there might be a way for me to do more oh i beat it oh big floating chest i thought that was gonna sink to the bottom of the floor but no it's it's just kind of float here i was very curious to see how exactly they would implement the underwater traversability if that's even a word but it feels better than i thought it would i thought it would be like really annoying to do but this isn't bad my question is is this going to be worse to explore like to really explore than sumeru sumeru had all the caves but this i feel like everywhere i go there's just places to dive even deeper it pun intended Oh, oh, that hurts my eyes. Okay, I don't like that. Excuse me. <laughs> what is this? Is this a diglet? What is going on here? Yeah, that seems like a picture I need. Okay, this time we're actually going to stay on the aqua bus. After I tell the aqua bus to move. And now we sit back and relax. Oh, wait, waypoint, waypoint, waypoint. Must get waypoint. I am never going to ride that boat all the way, am I? It just takes so long. And I keep seeing things along the way that I want to get. Oh, you know, this kind of reminds me of Inazuma. Because it looks like some giant something died here. Wait a minute. Is that what I think it is? Doesn't that look like a sword? Does that mean that the hydro arc... D don't... Okay. No leaks down in the comments please and thank you. But that makes it look like she's either going to be a sword or claymore user, though that looks like a very large sword. So she may be the first hydro claymore, which would make sense. I am very happy to say that the underwater stuff is probably my favorite part of this. And also, apparently I found the boss. This is not at all what I expected the boss room to look like. And what are you? The emperor of fire and iron. Oh, he's like a giant crab. All right, well, let's see if Raiden can solo it. All right, well, I'm not at full health, but let's see. Oh, what? Uh, hey, hey, Raiden, uh, don't stand on... Okay, or do stand on that. Yeah, that's fine. Sir, I request a round two. I have no need to beat you right now. I just want to. No! Oh, he's on one HP! And look, you don't gotta tell me. This is a waste of time. I don't need to fight this right now, but... It's the principle of the matter. There we go. Easy first try. And we get three of the boss drops. I'm sure someone's gonna need them at some point in time. Oh, and it was in our book that we needed to do that. What the heck is this thing? This is an enemy? Oh, okay. It hurts. All right. I don't know if I'm misunderstanding it, but I feel like I have to take this and then run all the way over here. Give it a second again. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Almost there. And then we use it on this. Why do they put them so far away though? It's like before you can fight any of the enemies, you have to go on a scavenger hunt to find a thing to turn off the light. Otherwise you just do no damage. Oh. There. Okay. I did look around beforehand, but I couldn't find that. Apparently, I looked everywhere except for where I needed to look. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? What are you doing up here? No, that's okay. You could have left these things in Inazuma. You did not need to bring the... I don't want to fight these with just Raiden. I got the waypoint that's nearby. So in the very rare case that I do die to these things, we can just come right back. Not that that's going to happen, of course, because I am too skilled and we have Raiden Shogun. So like, what more could you need? Who needs a healer? Not me. Oh, I mean, I kind of realized this somewhat before, but not to the full extent. You can swim fast now and then, you know, just swim slow and the stamina regenerates. So you can swim infinitely even above water. That is a very welcome change, although I have a feeling it only applies in Fontaine. Actually, let's go see. If we just hop in water somewhere else, yep, it's the normal stamina bar. I get that we can't dive everywhere else, but if we could at least have that regenerating stamina on the surface everywhere else, that, that'd be a very welcome change.
Yeah, you know, somehow I knew that that was going to happen. Okay, so earlier I did say that that water thing was my least favorite, but I think that one was just kind of weird because the other ones haven't been as bad as that one. And so what I'm getting at is I have a different least favorite and it's these things because whenever I find them, it takes me forever to try and find where the little light things are that you need to activate them. Like, where? Where is it? But then the thing is, I also read, I forget where I read it, that some of the characters in Fontaine naturally have some sort of whatever the thing is that can unlock these. Of course, I don't know how true that is, and I also don't know which element this one has, but I would, I would assume the dark one. So, like, can I just... Wow. Okay, so it definitely helps to explore with Fontaine characters. Now that we know that, let's go back to exploring with Raiden only. Oh, and here we go again. I'm fighting an enemy, being buffed by one of the crystals, and unless I'm completely blind, which, uh, as we learned, is very possible, I do not see the corresponding crystal around here to disperse that buff. So without using Fontaine characters, it seems like exploring this region will actually prove to be quite annoying. Like, look at this. Where's my damage? Where... <laughs> Where'd my damage go? What? <laughs> what is this? What kind of summoning ritual have I stumbled across? All right, here we go. We have to protect the crystals while we are attacked by random enemies, I guess. And of course, they're wolves. Probably one of the worst things that I would have to fight besides just something immune to Electro. Wait, oh, it's healing me throughout it? Oh, never mind. This is easy. Challenge complete. I don't mind that. The fact that it heals you during it is nice. What? Excuse you? I kind of want to kill them to see what they drop. <laughs> Again, after reading the little tooltip, it sounds like you want to attack them with those two... Basically like the yin and yang. I, I don't know what else to call them because I don't know how to pronounce the correct names. So, yet again... Fontaine characters would be very good here. This area really does remind me of Inazuma. So according to the lore, I wonder what giant beast was slain here. I am so confused by this puzzle. I mean, is it even a puzzle? I don't know. Is the ball just here to show which way the pressure is moving? Because this, there's nothing to this. You can't just push this thing. That doesn't work. You can't do that because that doesn't do anything. And then you, you can't hit this because that does nothing. So what is my goal? How do I get this ball through that ring? I fail to see any way to influence it whatsoever. Okay, I, I guess I'm just stupid because I looked up a guide and the guide just says you can activate them by putting them in the ring. That uh, Apparently, there's some very simple way to do this that I'm just overlooking. I'm not even joking. I've been here for 20 minutes now. I don't know how you solve this. You can't influence any of this stuff. All right, I'm, I'm just going to assume that there is no puzzle here, that you just, you can't influence them and therefore it's just there. I refuse to believe that there is a solution for that. Oh yeah. We just finished act one of whatever this quest line is. This was not the plan. I did not expect to fall into one of these kinds of quests. And now I'm on to act three of whatever this is. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Oh, don't tell me that's Electro. Oh, gosh. An Electro Abyss the Herald or Lecter or whatever the heck he is. And I only have Raiden. That sounds like a great time to me. This might be quite a long fight. Unless he doesn't get a shield. And then we are perfectly fine. But I'm expecting a shield. Oh, no shield. Okay, great. Okay, well, I think that this little ghost thing is actually the giant beast that's dead across this whole island. I think. Maybe? And part three is done, but it sounded like there's still more to it. I just realized I haven't even been to the main city in Fontaine yet. I didn't even finish riding that, that flume that brings you to this city. And yet here I am like 8,000 feet underwater doing side quests. Well, it's not like the city's going anywhere, so I say we finish these up first. Oh, funnily enough, the next step in this quest is to speak with Catherine. And that means we will have to venture off to the main city. I guess the game finally decided to say, no, you've done enough looking around. Now go to the main city. Apparently, water is now dangerous because if you step in this water, it burns you to death. Genshin Impact has turned water into an enemy. Really? 
How did you even manage to hit me through the boat? And now, now it's gonna get away. Come back here. No. Very rude of you. Very rude of you to make me miss my boat. Just for that, I will waste my burst on you. Never spawn again, please. Oh, yeah, no, that that's fine. It forces me to get off to fight the enemies, and then it just drives away without me. I get it. I'm just not supposed to be on this boat. Well, you know what? Who needs the boat when I can swim faster underwater? Come on. Come on. Let me up. Go on. Come on. You can do it, game. You can climb on the platform. I believe in you. You can do it. What do you mean too shallow to dive? Does this look shallow to you? So like, what do you want me to do? That's my question. Maybe it's a stupid question, but oh, oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Now get off. No, go. go. How do you not fall off, but I can't get on? So now I do that. That didn't freeze the water. So uh, no. Okay. I'm stuck back in the water again. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you game design. Well, you know what? While I'm here, might as well go get this thing. Oh, wait. Big brain. Huge. Giga brain. Or maybe just small brain, but I should have thought of this sooner. If I can't get out of the water, why bother? Just use the stuff from in the water. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works. Now, once again, we just follow the boat that we're supposed to be on. And it should park here because there's an enemy. And there, there it goes. And there's my chest. That was infinitely more difficult than it should have been. No. No. Game. G game, let me out. Game. Game. Excuse me. Excuse I want my chest. Why do they not let you get out of this? No. You've got to be kidding me. Now I have to swim all the way back over there. See, I, I was struggling to get back on the boat because it doesn't let you get back on it. So I thought, oh, maybe this will bring me to it. And then it, it, it brings you all the way back to shore. And you have no say in the matter. All right. Uh, let's try a bit of this. this is, it's gonna work. It's gonna work flawlessly. Mark my words. There's no way this could possibly fail. Not a single spam, 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 spam. Okay. And it failed. Okay. It can't possibly fail part two. Same procedure. Up and spam and nope. Okay. Oh, Oh, this is it. This is the one. It's so easy. And yes, I realize I could have swapped to Kazua, but for people who don't have Kazua, that is stupid. I'm not sure what the significance of this room is, but I like that you could just walk out into the water, and then you just walk back in. I imagine this all feels even more atmospheric if you actually have the in-game music on too, because I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what kind of music is supposed to be playing right now. I'd love to put it on, but that doesn't work for YouTube videos, so I have to play with it off, as I'm sure I've said many times in the past. It's just unfortunate because I feel like the music in Genshin is one of the best parts. I am so tired of these things not letting you get out of them. Bring me back to my chest. They always spawn it right within range of the chest at the same time as the chest, so I just spam the interact key which means I get sucked up into that thing. Oh no, it's one of these puzzles again. <laughs> wait, wait, no, but this one makes sense. Because this one, I can just come in here and block it. And then it should just get pushed into the ring. The other one, I literally couldn't do anything. Yeah, see, this one made logical sense. It appears I've stumbled across something that might be locked by the number of days. Because I, I think you just want to make this guy happy and feed it. But if you try to feed it too much, it just says, uh... Let's come back later. Now, I could give this a try. I don't expect this to work. If it does, that'd be great. Let's see. Nope. They just fed it a while ago. Let's come back later. Oh, no. I've re-stumbled across the same... I, I don't even want to call it a puzzle, because it isn't. The same issue. Just going to leave that down there, because... Either it's bugged, or there is no solution, or a mixture of the two. Now, I do want to open up some of these shrines of depth if I come across them, so I figure we'll huh, just, you know, put a couple of these into the statue and get ourselves some keys. I only got the statue up to level three. Wow. Okay, that's, uh, that's not too good. But there we go with our one whole key. We could get the shrine, and I think it's 40 more primos, right? Yeah. Excuse me? What is this enconomia like place? I'm I'm telling you, I am just getting into the weirdest side quests by accident. This place is wacky. I just want my primos and I'm out of here. Okay, I know I was trying to explore the whole place with Raiden only, but I came across this enemy that one shot my Raiden. So I'm just coming back for revenge 
and the thing is stupid tanky. Like, it's tankier than most bosses in the game. So surely, if I take this thing out, we gotta get something good. This thing <laughs> takes so many hits. I'm just doing rotation after rotation. I feel like I'm in the spiral abyss. Okay, here we go. And I... I, I got drops. I got an achievement. I don't know why that thing was so tanky. Don't get me wrong, though. It was, was kind of fun to fight something like that in the overworld. But now back to just riding. It's always kind of nice to play with one character only for a long time. Because then when you go back to a full team, you feel so powerful. Well... Uh, suddenly, for, for no particular reason, I think we are ready to finally take the little boat ride over to the city. And the reason I'm doing it now is because I need one more key to fully 100% this island. So I'm hoping that someone's gonna give me a key when I get to the city. So now I can sit back relax and i don't have to worry that i'm missing something on the side because i'm pretty sure i've gotten almost everything at this point i've heard that in places with lots of sand even clockwork mecca will start to malfunction i mean no rational person would try to cross a vast hot and dry desert to get to fontaine right <laughs> do you see that really tall structure i once asked elfin what's that big old thing she said no clue. What's the use of learning the meaning of things? <laughs> oh. Oh, we're here. <clears throat> I, I, it's not like I was just looking at my phone the whole time. Oh. Ooh. It's pretty. I would like to get the Statue of the Seven so I know where I am. So we will have to try and find that. This slightly reminds me of Bellabog in Star Rail. Just like the whole city kind of surrounding you and going above in, in a circular shape. Wagner's gone? Wagner doesn't exist in Fontaine. And here we go. Absolutely not the way you're supposed to get here. There we go. Oh gosh, yeah, this is gonna expand out a lot, isn't it? I think that this city is the largest of any of the main cities in any other region so far. Okay, the important question is where's Catherine? And the second most important question is how close is she to a waypoint. Ooh, this is really good distance. I think this is the closest of any region so far. Oh yeah, yeah these are definitely furfros. I mean, I'm not saying that Genshin stole these from Pokemon, but I mean, look at these pictures for comparison. Tell me that these are not the same. You can't. But since it is a new day, the first thing I want to do is go see if I can feed that seal anymore. Hey, little buddy, I'm back and you are not where I left you. Okay, blub blub. Yes, yes. All right. You, are you hungry? Would you like some more food? Have a piece of fish. Guess we got to help its friend out really quick. Am I going to have to feed you too? I, I don't have enough fish for all these seals. Oh, you're already hungry for more? Okay, health value has increased. It looks like maybe two more days of this. All right, berry puff. I shall be back tomorrow. Hold up. I'm getting sidetracked, but this thing is so tiny and cute, and apparently it has a quest. Oh, no. You. You are not cute. Get that thing off my screen. It's like a little baby oceanid. Can I have a pet of this? I know there was already a pet of that, but, but this one is cute and I, I want it. Oh gosh. Oh, it's another multi-part one. Hey, how about I do that? <gasps> oh, it's following me. Yes. Okay. If I never do your quest, will you stay with me forever? I sure hope so. The real question is, does it follow me? <gasps> it followed me into the sky. Well, for a few seconds, it did. Seems like as long as I'm underwater, it stays with me. Still not sure how I feel about underwater combat because obviously you can't use your own character. I mean, you could use your characters, but none of their skills. So against tanky enemies, you're probably going to be there for a while. But at the same time, it is kind of different. So at least for now, I'm not like tired of it or anything. Oh, apparently I accidentally came to the area that this quest continues. Oh, what the heck is this place? And just, just out of curiosity, how do you light a fire under the ocean? I have an idea. This is a, a very strange thing to do, but I'm going to try it. Because I, I think if I use like, like, like this, it's going to keep putting out fire. So we go over here. We swim towards this. Did not not quite. So what we want to do is get as close as possible, but in a place where we can still use our burst, which for us is about here. And then we do that and immediately teleport because this thing has to fly through all the terrain to come get to us right here. Uh, we should maybe see it coming as long as it lasts. Um, huh. I guess that was still too far. Come on. This has got to work, right? Right? No. Come on. 
Come on, right here. Yes. Yes, I got it to work. Thank you, Shinyan. I appreciate that. I know I probably said I was going to start the main Archon quest, but I mean, I just stumbled across another quest, so we might as well get this one done too. Oh, this is kind of cool. If you swim low enough, you fall out of the water. All I'm going to say is if this little mini ocean thing is not a reward for finishing whatever quest this is, I will be very disappointed. Oh, oh, now they're telling me to do all these puzzles to allow you to get up into the water, which I already did. Gosh, I am just too efficient. Why do I feel like this sword would still do more than the dull blade? Oh, an ocean fight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But we're actually fighting Oceanid and not just the summons of Oceanid. All right, let's hope we don't miss. We didn't crit though, so we might as well have missed. Oh wait, it's invincible. Well, that was a waste of a burst. And we do still have to fight these. And goodbye Oceanid. And I guess now we are in a storybook. I'm just as confused as you are. Oh, it doesn't count as a domain though, so you could actually take pictures in here. Oh. Apparently, the place is flooding. Well, either way, uh, it is our time to escape, so I would rate this Airbnb a 7 out of 10. The house itself was very pretty, but there was a woman there absolutely obsessed with flowers. A little creepy. Guess that was the end of that whole quest, though. Oh, I need an ancient key. I'm assuming that that'll be part of some quest at some point, so I guess I can't go inside of whatever that is right now. Some of you are probably thinking you should just go do the main story at this point. Why are you still just exploring? Just go do the main story and then you can explore after. And to that, I say, I love the fact that I could get on top of a blimp and go over the city. That's pretty cool. Oh, I just realized we did not get that little floaty thing as a pet. I guess I am now very disappointed. Oh, no, guys. Guys, this, this is fur fro again. Pokemon X and Y, you had to chase one of these things through a hedge maze. This is like the same thing because you're not allowed to walk in the flowers. Oh no. Is this one of those super tanky ones again? Okay, just don't get hit. Just don't get hit and we'll be fine. Super easy. Okay, maybe not quite as easy. I think we might finally be done with Salsa's little side quests. Okay, we did get an achievement. I assume that is the end of Salsa. So now I won't have to be afraid every time I see a random canvas set up somewhere. Oh, this is going to be the quest that gets us the key to unlock the door. Is it bad that every time we get a random quest from some dude that we've never seen before who brings us somewhere, I always think that they're just going to turn into an Abyss Herald or Lecter? Because they've done that, like, what, three times now? I always love places like this in games where you have to swim underwater and then you come up into a room that's only half submerged. I don't know why, something about it just looks so cool. Of course, in real life, I feel like I would be terrified to be here, but luckily, it is not real life. Well, he wasn't an abyss person, but he was evil. He locked us in here, hoping that we would die and he could just loot our bodies after. Stuff like this is just becoming too predictable, because I feel like whenever there's a quest like this, the person's always evil. Oh, wait, what? I just finished a different quest and then went back to see if there was any loot left. And then I ran into a spot that brought me back to this guy. Maybe there's still hope that he'll turn into one of our pets. Oh, and this was the dog from the other really long quest. Well, this is interesting. In the room that we are currently in, we don't appear on the map. Isn't this the stuff from the chasm? I don't think I have any way of getting rid of this, but I'm very curious if there is a way to do so. Unless it's just here for lore reasons. Oh wait, wait, don't you use this thing? Which you can't use outside of the chasm, so never mind. Now that we have some more pages, I'm curious to see what we can do with this book thing. Well, if nothing else, it seems like it gave us two more chests. I think we still need enigmatic page number 10. So we might even get another chest after that. I guess that means we need to go explore to find that last piece of paper. I gotta be honest. After being in the water for so long in this region, I don't like traversing on land anymore. You can just move so much faster and so much more freely underwater. You don't run out of stamina. You don't have to climb walls. It's just like the perfect mode of transportation. Oh, these are a contender for one of the cutest enemies in the game. I actually don't think that I can kill these ones. I don't care if they drop something. This little guy is too cute. Oh, you are joking with how tanky these things are. I can't, what do I do with that? It's not like I can build a team because all you can use are underwater attacks. Okay, maybe, maybe they're weak to this thing's attacks. Maybe that's the secret strategy. 
Excuse me. Excuse me, this does nothing. Oh, I think I understand. So we just focus on dodging for this part because like two hits and we're dead. And then when that thing appears, you want to hit that. Yeah. Okay. See, see, I'm sometimes using my brain right there. Boom. Nice. Dodging attacks in the water just feels so satisfying. And I assume when we take these two out, we should get another achievement. Let's find out. Yes, we do. Oh, what the fish is doing? Are they spawning in a chest for me? Oh, loading screen. Oh, that's a lot of fish. I kind of hope these fish stay here, but I have a feeling they're not going to, are they? Or are they? Wait, if I look at this monitor while this is happening, it's completely fine. But if I look away while this is happening, I start getting dizzy. Oh, I guess we're going up. What's up here? Oh, I Draculus. Don't mind if I do. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait. That looks so cool when you first go underwater. Look at this. Oh, it's so bright. It'd be kind of cool in Fontaine if you jumped from that high or you plunge attacked into the water where it was diveable, you would just automatically dive under. Oh, Ren alert. We got ourselves another page here and I thought it was going to be 10, but it was 11, which means we're still going to need 10, but we got a big chest. So I don't know. At this point, we have to have gotten enough of the Hydroculus. Yes. Okay, good. We get our key. We can go finally get the other island up to 100%. Of course, right after I talk to whoever the heck this is, because apparently they have a quest for us. Oh, you know what's so funny? The spot that this quest is bringing me is exactly where the Shrine of Depth is. I could not have planned that out any better. Finally, I don't have to look at not 100% over here. Look at that. Wait, no, uh, look at, look at that. Oh, 100%, 100%. That feels so much better. I think at this point, my goal is just to 100% all of Fontaine. And then we'll worry about doing the story quest. I think I found a horde of otters. These are otters, right? I'm gonna sound real stupid if they're not otters. There's just so many of them right here. What, what, what do you guys want? I can't feed you or anything. What do I do with them? I do believe we have all of the items required for whatever this quest is gonna be. I am expecting a decent reward from this one. Survey says, oh, double precious chest. So I guess this will just be a daily routine for a little while. We gotta go check on the seal. And I think that tomorrow is gonna be when we're able to finish this up, but it'd be kind of nice if today was actually the day oh uh, yeah that definitely tomorrow oh there's another one of these at least now uh, maybe as long as i don't get hit we know what we need to do we attack that and then we rinse and repeat there we go so i don't know why but there's now a big chest by where all of the otters were i mean i'm not gonna complain it's a free chest but i don't know why it spawned here Ooh, does that mean I got all the books for the region? Perhaps I should go ahead and start claiming those achievements. Because at this point, they are starting to pile up a little bit. Ah, uh, but this is always so satisfying. The only way this would be even more satisfying is if it gave more than five primos for each one. Ooh, and then we got all of these as well. I have noticed that there seems to be a lot of issues with the chests in this area. What I mean by that is within the underwater regions, there's a number of chests that when you do whatever you need to do to unlock them, they don't actually spawn and you have to re-log and then the chest appears. Now, I highly doubt that that's intentional, but I don't know what could be causing it. And also, apparently we found these sewers. I thought this would be locked behind the story, but I guess not. Oh wait, this really is like Bellabog. There's a whole underground area with a completely different society. Or at least at first glance, that's what it looks like. Oh, Another achievement. Do I get a fancy new name card? Oh, <laughs> I have to actually obtain the power of Hydro and then I get it. I suppose I shall do that later. Okay, we are finally heading towards the, I, I guess, final area or at least the only area that i have yet to explore this place is nice though because I, I like the long path just leading you towards wherever this is taking us Ooh, we got all the waypoints i like this place i like the dancing water fountains oh what is this offerings to the fountain of lucine i will come back to that shortly oh you know i really i really thought they'd put something up here but i guess 
not. Uh, they put something over there. So I have to climb all the way back up there, huh? And yoink. This has got to do something, right? They wouldn't put these here for no reason. Yep, that's about what I expected. So how high can we bring the statue now? Maybe maybe one more level? One more level would be kind of nice or not. But at the same time, they're going to keep releasing new areas within Fontaine. So I guess that could be as high as we can bring it. And now let's see where we can bring the fountain. We have 612 hydro sigils. So we're just going to offer all of them up and we see it's level 20. That's pretty nice. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, we got a key out of that. Oh, we're going to get a second key as well. We might actually be able to get that one achievement where we had to, I think, unlock four Shrines of the Depth. Here's number three. Oh, and that gives me more sigils too for me to dump back into the fountain. And here is number four. So back to the fountain. Oh, max level reached for current version. I guess I am just too good at the game. Yeah, so these two we cannot get until I'm guessing the rest of Fontaine is out. But considering towards the beginning of this video, we did pulls with almost all of our primos, we are now almost at 4,000 primo gems again. That's not too bad, but it did take quite a while. But now for the moment of truth, are we at 100% for this area? Yes. Ah, oh, that is so nice to see. Unlike, uh, unlike that stuff. This, this is nice. I guess while we're here, we should go check out whatever boss is this way. Is this a boss? This really does not look like a boss. Are you? There's... No. No, you're not. Uh, uh this one? Oh. Oh, it is the boss. Oh, that's kind of cool. Something tells me there's other mechanics at play here that I know nothing about. So the plan is to just spam my burst with Raiden. And we'll see where that gets us. Oh, it gets us six feet underground is where it gets us. All right, well, I want to do main story quest. Uh, how, how how does one start main story quest? Archon quest. This? This is the desert. This is not what I want. Maybe I just wander around the city and then something happens oh no i just looked up how you start fontaine archon quest you have to finish all of the sumeru one first oh you have gotta be kidding me okay well i guess i will see you guys when this is done which is probably gonna be like three hours or so fun times ahead I was surprisingly accurate with my prediction of how long it would take us to finish that quest. That quest took me 3 hours and 12 minutes to spam through. But what I didn't account for was there was actually another quest after that that I had to do about the dude's son being a hillitrol and that stuff. And that one took me an extra hour. But to be fair, that one probably took me longer because I had never done it before so I did pay attention to the dialogue. So it's finally time for us to visit Fontaine. Wow, I, I've never been there before. No, it's surely not. For some reason, I just have the Statue of the Seven over here unlocked. So I guess the good news is if you're not interested in doing these story quests, then you can literally do everything in Fontaine without caring about them. At least as far as I'm aware, maybe there's a weekly boss that's locked behind it. So the fun thing is I have avoided all spoilers somehow about the Archon. I mean, unfortunately, I know what she looks like, but I have no idea what kind of personality they have or anything like that. Oh no, it's not like she could just swim. Yeah, I mean, that would be pretty scary if someone jumped in the water from this high up. I mean, like, <gasps> oh, ooh, that was, ooh, I, was, I was terrified for a second. On this account, I don't know who I'm pulling for next. So any of these characters could be the next character I try to get. They got to impress me. I got to like their personality and maybe their kit too. Kit's kind of important. But since I don't know their kits, I'm going based on appearance and personality. She really reminds me official with the way she talks. Oh, it's... Fosalor. Oh, I've been reading it as Folklore, and I thought it was funny because it just sounds like Folklore. No. No. No, I don't want to go to jury duty. Bro, why we got to go to court? Who runs a court in an opera house? No. No, she's 
tethered to me. No, how am I supposed to get rid of her now? I don't care if it gets us put in prison. I want this rope severed right now. I would hate to live in Fontaine. If they view court trials as entertainment, I mean, okay, well, if it's like the Johnny Depp trial, then I, I can kind of get that. But a normal court trial, those things are the most boring thing imaginable. Oh, your magic pockets? We got those in Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, no. Tevat also has global warming. Oh, you have to use hydro to collect these? I've just been collecting them underwater so much that I didn't even realize that. No, what's Raiden supposed to do now? So you know what? I'm gonna perform a magic trick of my own. Now you see the flowers? Now you don't. Well, uh, you still see them, but they are, uh, they're not there. Like, the, I, I harvested... You get it, okay? I don't need to explain it. While we're up here, though, I figure we might as well get the achievement for getting the Hydro Traveler. There, done. Okay, now you can get back off my team. I want to test her out, but I want to save that for swords only because I literally have no idea what she does. Oh, wow, a, a boat. I <laughs> had no idea that that's how you got to this city. So, she's a cat, but he's not. Something ain't adding up. I'm curious, if I just sat on this screen for long enough- Wait, 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 it just automatically progressed the dialogue? I was gonna see if I could leave it here and get all the way to the city, but it seems like, yeah, it does automatically progress it and I don't have the auto mode turned on. What I was gonna say was, the story that they're telling here about the disappearance of people reminds me of the anime Erased. I hate that I have to play with music off for this. I just turned it on for a second. It's so nice. not gonna lie. I, I haven't looked at much of this stuff from Fontaine. I like very briefly saw this character's face in some post somewhere. I thought it was a girl. And th then that voice just came out. <laughs> it was like, what? I'm gonna say right now, I am not a fan of the chai character trope in games or anime. So I'm already not a big fan of this dude. <laughs> What the heck was that? Oh, I'm an introvert too, but dude, oh, music. That's right. Okay, maybe, maybe if I put it at one, I might still be able to hear it, but in the video, you won't. I can barely hear it. All right, all right, I figured it out. I'm gonna just listen to the Fontaine soundtrack on Spotify while I go through this. So the music will never match up to what's happening. I might get a boss fight soundtrack in the middle of an NPC dialogue, but it's better than silence. It was such an easy thing for them to say everything here is hydro powered. It's the hydro region. There should be steam engines and water wheels galore. The oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal harvest. What did you just say to me? Was this lady a magician too? Because I think she just cast a spell on us. Hey, look, that's me out there. That's crazy. I literally have no idea how to use child. I know you press E, but then you don't want to stay in this form for too long. But it's fine because we can just press Q. Maybe there's something wrong with my vision. I mean, you could probably get some glasses if that's a worry. I thought there was some lore that you couldn't actually get rid of your vision. Like, didn't Kaching try and destroy hers or something? But now if the traveler is accused of a crime, we actually have a vision, whereas before we wouldn't have had one. I swear, if we get accused of a crime in another region, I'm gonna lose it. Bro, our outfit is so boring compared to his. Can we get a makeover? All right, let's see it. Let's see some magic. Oh, they sent their visions backstage? If we go get get him right now, we can have three visions in our possession. It's like collecting the infinity stones. I really wish the entire Archon quest was animated like this. Oh yeah, and I know they can't because it would probably take them too long, but it'd be so nice. It selects numbers entirely at random. Entirely at random. Mm -hmm. Yep, there is nothing random when it comes to magic. I guess no one knows what comes after that. <laughs> That's so me. I'd only be counting in my head too. Let's go, another cutscene. I don't think this dude's old enough to be the prime suspect. They said it's been happening for 20 years. He looks maybe 15. This lady is just accusation happy. And this is how we get dragged onto the side of the accused. Somebody died right in that spot. And Paimon's over here with the goofy glasses on. Turns out there's an issue with the random number selector after all. Oh, 
Are you telling me it wasn't random? Oh, so I was right. Oh, wait, she's a Geo character. Wait, Hoyoverse remembers that Geo exists? <gasps> They vented. If they escape through that, then that means they're no longer among us. Oh, I actually have to do something. Okay. They've somehow turned court into a mini game. Order, order. Me when the McDonald's employee asks me what I want to do. So here's my guess, right? Earlier, they said that, uh, Mr. Mr. No the Nuvelet, Nerv well, I forget his name already. They said he has never disagreed with the scale. My guess is the scale's gonna show we're guilty, but he's gonna say he disagrees with that. She's the one who killed. I, <clears throat> I, I knew it the whole time, obviously. It was, it was like the most obvious answer. I got every part of this right. I even knew that the machine would say they're not guilty and he would say that they're not guilty. Gosh, I am so smart. <laughs> I guess you could say he melted under pressure. <laughs> oh, actually, before we continue with the main story here, we have a little friend that we need to visit. Today should be the last day, and now its health is at the highest amount. Wait, it's gonna grow up? What do you mean? Why don't we come... No, again? I guess tomorrow's gonna be the last day. Why does ocean it appear everywhere now? What if this Vache dude is actually the one that's the mastermind behind the dissolving people? That's my running theory, and I know for a fact that it will be correct. What the heck is going on here? How did this happen? Why are we under siege from the robots? It's the AI upper it's already happening. Oh, now we get to see this girl in action. Didn't she have a gun in the trailer? She must be from America. Oh, music kind of popping off. Uh-oh. Wait, is that a sword or is that a claymore? That's a claymore, right? I'm going back to watch the recording. Okay, so this girl was using the white blind and the other girl was using a sword. And assuming that they're both going to be five stars, that means we're getting a second five-star Geo claymore. I kind of wanted her to be sword so I could use her on swords only with Albedo, but unfortunately, that doesn't seem like the case. But apparently, this girl... Is not, not this girl, the other girl. It's gonna be a sword user. I don't have the primo gems for all this. Both swords and spells are like completely broke. Oh, their base is gonna be in the sewers, isn't it? Yup. Back into the sewers we go. I thought that this was gonna be the base of like the evil people in this story, but I guess it's the complete opposite. People love watching the evil turn over a new leaf, but they also enjoy watching good people fall into an abyss from one slip up just as much. Twitter users be like. <laughs> Wait, this dude's just sitting here waiting for someone to come in all day. What if he's actually evil? It'd be pretty easy to hide your crimes when you're the main one dealing with the justice system. Ooh, what if it is the, the chief justice dude? And that's why he didn't want to go through the court system because he knew he would lose. You're telling me that these people's evil lair is actually under the ocean? That would be such a pain to have to keep going in and out of. <laughs> oh, is he just doing this so he gets to fight people? That would actually make a lot of sense for him. This angle is really making it look like this dude is the villain. Yeah, that's, that's what an elevator is. Oh, I'm talking. It's so rare that this happens. So can, can you believe that some people actually thought that Nivellet was the villain here? I mean, that that's, that's just crazy. Like, look at how innocent that dude looks. Uh-oh. It's looking like our boy child might be a little guilty. The... Okay, so I was right that his verdict would be different than the machines, but I, I just got which trial that was going to be in incorrect. Oh, what's he about to do? I mean, he no longer has the power of Hydro because we have his vision. Imagine if at some point they released an Electro version of Tartaglia. Well, looks like this guy's dead. We have finished chapter two, I think is what that was. And in order to do the next act, I have to start this quest or finish it, which means going back Inazuma? How does that make any sense? Bro, this has got to be such an old quest. Oh, well, I can't even do this right now. Now we gotta take on a 
different side quest. I guess once again, this has absolutely no relevance to Fontaine whatsoever. So I am going to stop the recording and then see you guys in... Uh, three, I'm just going to say three hours again because that's about what I expect this might take. Hopefully it's way less. Okay, so I was wrong about a couple of things. First off, doing that side quest only took me about 30 minutes because I didn't have to fully complete the other one. So I was very glad I was wrong about that. But also, if we go look at this quest here, this is in Sumeru. So I don't know if there's any more Arcani stuff we can do in Fontaine yet. For some reason, that information is like impossible to find anywhere online. You have some websites saying that there's only two acts. You have other websites saying there's four acts in an interlude. So I really don't know. But for the time being, I'm going to go around. I'm going to do all of these side quests we have in the region. And then other than that, it's just the one seal that we have to feed one more time. Well, okay. So we'd also have to do reputation stuff, which I definitely won't be able to finish very soon. But we should have a decent chunk of that done anyways. And these quests seem very quick. It's just a couple sentences with different people. Oh, and perfectly, our last quest actually is the reputation person. Fantastic. Oh, wait. Oh, gosh. So with all of our exploration done, having all of the currently available parts at 100%, that's only 38% of all of Fontaine. Okay, I thought it would have been a bit more than that. Oh, I found another quest. My goal right now is to try to complete all of these side quests currently available. Oh, okay. That was a, that was a very quick one. And also in that half hour I spent doing quests, we did hit AR 58. And yes, I probably should be AR 60 by this point, but there's so many quests I still haven't done. And I don't always play on the account every single day. So I can kind of see why I'm not there yet. Okay. So just about one hour later, we are done with every quest we can complete right now. This last one, we have have to wait until the next day so like five more hours and then we can finish that up and we are good to go and that's fine because we still have to wait for the next day to do whatever we have to do with that seal anyways i'm just gonna do three bounties and all of the request stuff for the reputation and then i guess we're just waiting until tomorrow three bounties are done requests are done we've hit reputation level three and that's about all i can do right now it just became five o'clock a.m which which means the daily reset has just occurred. So we should be able to finish up the two things that we were waiting for. Maybe maybe okay so after looking up that quest it sounds like you might have to wait 24 hours after you do the first part and then another day so i guess i won't be finishing that one in this video but i will finish it tomorrow it appears our pet seal has gotten quite large and now we are releasing it out into the ocean and our reward is big chest with no sound, apparently. And the blubby chubby creative evolution achievement. I have almost finished editing this entire video now. And because it's like the next day or so, this quest seems like we can finish it up now. I figured I would come to check on this quest before I finished up the video. So there is that quest complete, which of course means we can go and claim this, finishing up everything we can do with reputation. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Feel free to hit the like button for my own sanity and as always, I will see you all next time.